students we know that honey is more viscous than milk and today we are going to study the experiment to determine the coefficient of viscosity of a given liquid by stokes method this is the formula we are going to use coefficient of viscosity eta is equal to 2 by 9 r means radius of metal sphere this is known to us i have measured already diameter of this g is the gravitational acceleration d is the density of metal which is also known to us rho is density of liquid which is also known to us the liquid used over here is a glycerin and v is the terminal velocity that only we have to find out in this formula everything is known to us Only v is unknown. That is velocity. So what is terminal velocity? So here we are going to take a tall glass jar. Inside this there is a liquid. A liquid whose coefficient of viscosity is three liter per second. And here there are two markings, marking A and marking B. Practically, it is observed that when the metal sphere falls freely through the liquid, after covering certain distance, it falls down with a constant velocity. And constant velocity is called as terminal velocity, and that we have to find out using a simple method. Now this distance is known to us. What to do? Very simple. Allow to fall the metal sphere through the liquid. The metal sphere crosses the marking A, start the stopwatch, and the moment it crosses the marking A, stop it. And using distance divided by time, that gives me velocity. And that velocity we are going to put it here, and we are going to calculate theta. So this is a tall glass. Inside this, I have taken a liquid that is glycerin, whose coefficient of viscosity is three liter per second. And here is marking A and marking B. The distance between A and B is adjusted to three centimeter. And the condition is that this marking A should be at sufficient lower distance, at lower level than this. Liquid level. The reason is that when the metal sphere falls, after covering certain distance, it attains a constant speed, that is terminal velocity. Okay. Now so distance between A and B is 50 centimeters. Now so this is the metal sphere. I am going to draw from here, and I am going to record the time to travel the metal sphere from here to here. Okay. Then let us start. Start. Stop. Okay, now come towards the calculation part. Terminal velocity is equal to distance AB divided by time taken. Distance AB that is marking distance, distance between the two markings, 50 centimeter divided by time taken is 6.78 seconds, and the answer is 7.37 centimeter per second. This is the velocity. Now put this value over here. That is 70.2 divided by 7.37. That is my terminal velocity, and the answer is 9.52 in cgs. That is points or time second per centimeter square. This is my final answer. That is coefficient of viscosity of 